Hey guys, welcome to a very different video. This is uh, a Hearthstone deck video, if you want to call it. This is the deck showcase on what I like to call the Nax Ram Zoo. The whoa, the Nax Ram Zoo. Um, this thing is the zoo always always good in the current meta. Um, it's just it's a great it's a great viable option for a beginner for even an intermediate player to get to legend or if you're just starting out just to learn the basics of like deck trading and or not deck trading just trading in general and um, other things such as that so um, let's get into the deck list if we go into my collection and the zoo here we go so here's the deck pretty much there's the curve um, basically what zoo is you have a lot of early game here oh, you can't see it you have a lot of early game, so all the one and twos, so that's 19 cards, and then also the soul fire, so that's 21 cards that are late early game, and then you only have two late game cards really, which is which are the doom guards, and so basically, this deck is you can either go control or rush with it, and so this is more of a control kind of thing, and so um, let's go over the deck now, shall we? So. Um, the first cards in here are the Soul Fires. Deal four damage and discard a random card. Um, this card is really, really good um, if you uh, just have uh, no no cards in your hand and it's just it's zero mana for four damage. You don't discard a card at all, and uh, it just it's just really helpful with it. Um, just clearing a lot of minions. Um, you don't really want to use these too uh, early because um, if you use them too early, then they'll become like really you'll want them in the late game and then you don't have them so um, I would recommend not using these too early um, next we have the power of overwhelming um, I before did not believe in this card until this where is it this one came out the new Ruby egg so what the power of overwhelming does it gives a minion 4-4 four, four, and so if you put it on the new egg which is a 0-2 it becomes a 4-6 but then after its death rattle it spawns a 4-4 four, four Nerubian so you can put power overwhelming on this and kill a really good minion uh, on a, your opponent's board and then it this spawns a 4-4 still and so pretty much you get you be, it becomes an 8-6 kind of if you're following me so I don't know it's just it's a really good card if you combo it with anything else and also just comboing it with any of these minions is really good abusive sergeant is a 1 mana 2-1 gives a minion plus two attack this turn. This is a really good card um, for many reasons. Um, because because of the plus two attack, you can consider it a one mana four one, or a one mana two one with a two, mm, a, or a one mana two attack cost minion with charge. Kind of if you think about it, you just put it on a different minion. Also, this is kind of a viable option if you draw this turn one. It's an okay option if you're going first to play it, um, unless you're facing a mage, of course, which it's not very optional. That's a good card, nevertheless. Flame Imp. Oh, it's just an all-around good card. One mana, three, two. Oh, it's just amazing. If you're going first and they don't have an answer for it, dude, this thing is going to do some damage. Let me tell you. Um, you might see the Battle Cries deal three damage to your hero as, like, a really debuff. But really, your value with this Flame Imp, you'll probably get six damage in before it dies. Um, in most cases. And so, um, if you don't get any value out of it, you'll also still get really good value out of it because your opponent will try using so many cards just to get rid of the thing. And so, but if you draw this early game, it's really bad, or not early game, or late game, it's really bad because, you know, you might be already on low health and you're like, I don't want three damage done to my face, it's just going to make me lose. So, this is a really good option for early game, but a really bad option for late game, but all the pluses is what makes it good in this deck. Um, so, Lepernome. Um, as you've seen from all of my other cards that I've shown, there's a lot of cards that have Death Rattle on them. So like this Leper Gnome, um, the Haunted Creeper, the Nerubian Egg, the Harvest Golem, um, that's it. So this has death, the Death Rattle deal 2 damage to the heroes of 1 mana 2 1, so the stats are amazing. And then the Death Rattle is great. And also it combos with the Undertaker, which the Undertaker needs to be in this deck. Because if it wasn't in this deck, this deck would be kind of be useless. And so if you draw this Undertaker turn 1, you should play it turn 1. Don't wait a turn until to play it, and because the only reason um, is because um, you want to get it out early. And so, if you have the Leopard Gnome 
turn one, and this in your hand, and you have coin, then you can coin, sorry for the sniffle, you can coin Undertaker and Lepronome, and it's just, it, this becomes a 2-3, which is insane. And so you already have a 2-3 and a 2-1 on the board, and they can't deal with anything. So, you know, it's a really good card, uh, both these cards, so they need to be in this deck. Uh, Voidwalker, it's just a great card in general. Um, it can be buffed with the Abusive Sergeant or the Power Overwhelming just to get good damage in. Um, also the Direwolf Alpha, so um, this card early game is really good anyways, and it also stops some early game minions. Um, the Direwolf Alpha, just a great card in general. It's 2 mana for 2-2, two, two, but it also gives adjacent minions plus 1 attack. This can help with, um, say, um, you have a 1 mana card on the board, like... Um, the Voidwalker, and then you have this in your hand, and then he plays a 2-mana 3-2, you can just put, put, the, put this in, and you can kill with this, and then you have this on the board. And then Haunted Creeper, again with the Death Rattle, it spawned 2 one, 1 one Spectral Spider, so you can think of it as a 2-mana two 2-4. Two um, it's a really good card in general, it can combo with the Undertaker, and so the Death Rattle is just great, and it's also its stats are pretty good too. Um, the attack, I would be it would be a lot nicer, but eh, it's, it's really good nevertheless. Knife Juggler. This you see in every single zoo. It, it's pretty much impossible to go without a zoo without this in there. Um, knife Jugglers is just a 2 mana 3 2, and also its ability is a great. So when you spawn a minion, all these early game minions, it can combo with this insanely. I've been able to where I've been able to play Knife Juggler and then play a minion, and then I also have Soul Fire in my hand where it kills. So, like, say it's a Yeti, I have the Knife Juggler, and then I play a, uh, a minion. And then it hit, the knife hits the Yeti, I can soul fire it, and I won't lose any cards. So it's really good um, in that case. New Ruby Nagui, I already talked about, it's a really good card in the first place. Um, and if you put Taunt on this thing along with the Argus, you know, it's it's just really good in general. The Harvest Golem, uh, it's another Death Rattle card. Spawn a 2-1 Damage Golem. Damage really is just a 2-1. Um, this card is really good because the stats are great. It can kill a 2-mana th 3-2, and it spawns a 2-1, so... Um, it's really good in general. The Void Terror can combo with the Egg with Power Overwhelming, so you can put Power Overwhelming on the Egg, and you can uh, attack and play, or you, you can play Void Terror, or some other way you can... So here, so you can play an Egg, or you can attack with the Egg with Power Overwhelming on it, his face, and then you can play Void Terror, you get a 4-4, four, four, and then, let's see, a 7-9 on the board, which is insane, unless you're facing a Priest and he has Death in his hand, which, eh, it happens. Dark Iron Dwarf, the stats are just great, along with the Battle Cry. Two, two plus, two attack, like the Abusive Sergeant, only the health and attack are really good. Um, this is an overall balanced card, and like it, with the Abusive Sergeant, it can pretty much do anything with anything with anything in these minions. Um, the Argus um, is really good stats. Uh, well, the stats are mediocre for the four mana, but the the Battle Cry is insane. Um, so it can it can go with any of these cards like the Void Walker or the Flame Imp or the Egg or the Haunt Creeper, and just overall it's a really good card. And the Doom Guards are a necessity. Um, you see the dis oops you see the discard two minions or two cards and you're like well this isn't very good, and so yes it's not very good but the stats are insane with charge. This is five mana, you it's worth it to put in here. So overall this deck is really really good. Um, now let's get to showing the deck in action. Alright guys, so um, we're going to do uh, about two games here with this deck. Or no, no, we'll just do one game because this video is already long enough. So, um, this hand is pretty good already with the Leopard Gnome and Direwolf Alpha. I'm going to get rid of the Defender of Argus because it's a 4 mana. I don't really need it here. Leopard Gnome's just great. And Direwolf Alpha, it's questionable, but it's good in this case with a Shaman because you can kill lots of taunts and stuff. And Leopard Gnome's just great. So, let's go with that hand. Let's see what we get. Uh, Dark Iron Dwarf. Eh, eh, it could be better. Alright, so opponent still choosing. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so, um, w w a good helpful hint. You can see his what he what he bargains for, or whatever the term is. So he discarded three, and he, got, he kept one. So whatever this card is, it's pretty good for whatever he thinks I am, which probably is it, which he thinks I'm thinking of zoo. So uh, we're going to play this, obviously. So for turn one, not too difficult, this card. It's just great, really good. If he has an Earth Shock, good, but oh well. Uh, let's see, what's he going to play? What's he going to play? Uh, this might be cut up, probably. Oh, nope, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, um, 
We're not going to play Alpha here uh, just for the extra damage, so we're just going to play Haunted Creeper here since we drew it. Um, so that's a better play because if you play this, you want to use this to kill something that's a lot bigger. So if you place this here and you're able to kill a 2 mana 3 2, this will die, but it'll spawn 2 1 1. So it's better there in that case. Alright. Um, here he'll probably totem. Like uh, he was hovering over. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Um, Feral Spirit? Yep. Alright. Well, sorry if I click. I need to not do that. Like, I need to not click that. Oh, that's a really good draw. Um, I'll actually just alpha here and then hit here and then soul fire this. I'm hoping it discards the um, Harvest Golem because I really don't want to play it, but uh, we'll see. Yep, come on. And then this will still be alive. So we'll hit that. Good. Come on. We'll be at 26, 24. There we go. So also, this deck has some RNG involved with it. Um, the Harvest Golem wasn't very good there um, in that case, so um, this is very good for me. Uh, and let's see how this goes. Let's see what he does. Come on, Shaman. What are you doing, man? Um, so he's on one mana. He probably will just skip his turn here because of him coining out the Feral Spirit. So he's on one mana. He probably should just end his turn here. He's kind of scared to do that. Uh, he might have a... Oh, okay, Lightning Bolt. That's fine. Okay. Um, we won't use this. We'll just tap a Knife Juggle because if you use this now just to get extra burst damage, it's not very good um, in the case because um, if he plays, like say, another Feral Spirit, you can't kill it now because you've played this. So it's not, it's not very good in that case. So I'll tap and then Knife Juggle. And see, now we got this again. So that's pretty good. And then also, if this stays alive, and we have to kill something with this, and then so we'll get two knives out of it. If this stays alive, so it's really good. Um, here he could totem something, and then like lightning bolt or earth shock totem, like spell totem, earth shock this or earth shock that something. I don't know. Hex? Oh, that's a terrible hex. No offense, no offense, shaman. That was a terrible hex, dude. Uh, ooh. Um, actually. Uh, yeah, just like I mentioned, Dark Iron Dwarfs are pretty bad. Well, they're not bad at all, but I mean, they're bad in this situation because if you just want you, you, ugh, if you just want to use it to get extra burst damage, it's not very good. You want to save those for extra burst damage. So I'm just going to play Defender of Argus in the middle of this and get the frog to do something too. So Some of you might have not heard the frog sound, so I'll, I'll let you hear it. There. You got you got to hurt you got to hurt a frog. It was it was disgusting, but yeah. So, um, next turn we might play. We should we should play a, one of these dark iron dwarves because if we have two of them on our hand just sitting here, they're not going to be doing anything. And so our board's pretty good. Um, he might lightning totem lightning storm here. Um, I would expect it. Um, he's already played a feral spirit lightning bolt. Also, for a little hints, you want to keep track of what they've already played. So if you've played enough Hearthstone like me. You would know that shamans usually run lightning bolts, feral spirits, and lightning storms. And so they also totem to get this mana. So with three mana, the lightning storm costs three mana. So we didn't get the spell power totem. So he's hoping that he rolls high on these two totems here. Or uh, minions. Or maybe not. He could play that too. That's a really good card anyways. Because it always draws a card. Um, here. Let's see. Here we'll go tap Dark Iron Dwarf. And then go with this, and then Dark Iron Dwarf on this, and kill this, so that we get value out of this, and then hit him in the face. That works. So let's tap first. Yep, that works. And then we'll go on here, kill it with this, and then this, and go into that like that. Perfect. This game is turning out really nicely right now. Um, he hasn't played a Lightning Storm yet, so he's played one Lightning Bolt and one Feral Spirit. Um, it could go... It's looking a lot more in my favor here. Um, usually shamans have, like in the beginning game, he has he has a lot more favor, but um, we'll see. He didn't get the spell power to him. He's hoping, yep, there's the first lightning storm. He's hoping to roll high on these two. He can't kill this thing. He's going to kill this thing. He did not roll high on any of them. That's really good for me. That is super good for me. Air shock, that's not too bad. Um, all right. Let's do this. Um, flame up's still really good here. Um, so we'll tap... We'll kill this first, obviously. And then we're gonna tap. 
and then Flame Imp, Voidwalker, and Leper Gnome. And that's it. And we'll attack. There we go. So if he has a second Lightning Storm, uh, it doesn't have it in these five cards here. So if he has it in this card here, we're, uh, we're in pretty big trouble here. But uh, we'll see if he has it. If he doesn't, we pretty much win. Do you have it, Shaman? Do you have scary card? No, he does not. So he just conceded. So you see the power of this deck. This deck is really, really good. And so, um, yeah, let's. Uh, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. That was a really good showing of the deck. That was my first try at it too. So um, let me get the deck list up real fast for one more time, just so you get to see it again. This is the deck that is amazing um, and if you're wondering where I got this deck I got this deck from icyveins.com um, I'll put a link in the description to the exact deck where you can find this deck um, this is the cheap I think this is their labeled cheap Naxxramas deck I'm pretty sure or maybe it's just the Naxxramas Zoo I'm not completely sure but this is not my deck I didn't create this this is uh, Icy Veins' deck overall it's really good I didn't get to see the Void Terror at all or the Doom Guards the power of the Void Terror or Egg even so um you didn't get really see the power of anything in that game, but um, this was a really good showing nonetheless, and so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my name is Trooper Cardinal, and uh, I'll see you later.